Hi, Carolina's AGC. I'm Ed Pat, and this is your weekly construction update. In North Carolina legislative news, Carolina's AGC staff will attend the North Carolina State Building Commission meeting next Tuesday. Following that meeting, the Innovations Committee will meet to discuss design-build, design-build bridging contracts, public-private partnerships procedures, and contracts and pre-qualification of contractors. CAGC's Connect North Carolina Bond Fundraising Committee, chaired by Scott Cutler with Clancy and Thais, still needs your financial support to reach our industry's contribution goal of $500,000 for the bond campaign. Please contact CAGC's Betsy Bailey to make a contribution. Remember, these bonds benefit all of our industry. GCs, subs, suppliers, and everyone should pitch in to support the campaign. Visit www.voteyestoinvest.com for more information. In South Carolina legislative news, the South Carolina Senate spent yet another week talking about roads but taking no action. Thus, the filibuster on roads continues. If you'd like to urge your senator to take a vote, you can find their contact information in Carolina's AGC's weekly news break. The House Ways and Means Committee pledged $250 million for roads, including $185 million to go to county transportation committees and another $65 million from sales tax collected on cars, which can be bonded as they work through the House Committee's version of the budget bill. There was also talk of a bond bill that would address maintenance needs for the state universities and colleges. You can check out all of this and much more in the South Carolina Report in our weekly news break. Coming up, the first executive luncheon of the year is Tuesday in Durham, North Carolina. 100 attendees will hear from speakers Bubba Raw and Tim Smith from Preston Development Company on the next evolution on where you'll live. CAGC Young Leaders will gather Wednesday for the first of three roundtable discussions on financial strategies for what matters most. In foundation news, on March 2nd, we will have a supplier council meeting well, they will be considering decisions related to the 2016 and 2017 golf benefits and the 2016 Sporting Clays Championship. The Project Supervision Committee meets on March 8th where we will be looking for expanded options to offer classes and increase our instructor pool. To close out this week, we want to update you on Carolina's AGC's workforce development efforts. CAGC continues to respond to the industry call for finding a skilled workforce through our careers page. CAGC member companies can post open positions, including internships, at no cost. Take full advantage of your membership with this free tool now by going to carolinasagc.ourcareerpages.com. Finally, we feel passionately about promoting our industry as a smart, rewarding, and lucrative career choice. And the CAGC Foundation is accepting applications for its 2016 scholarship program. Go to cagc.org for more details. That's it for this week. Have a great day. Uh, I don't Have know. Have a great week. Have Thanks a great week. Have a great week. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. Go Duke.